Hi everyone, Demi Fates here, and welcome to a brand new series. It's October, so it's a month of Halloween, which means I thought I'd try something a little bit scary, like Until Dawn on the PS4. Now this game's supposed to be like a very classic horror movie style game where it's our job to help some teenagers survive a night in a very spooky cabin in the woods. I don't know exactly how it's going to play out because I've never played it before, but I'm pretty sure we're going to lose some people along the way. If you're a fan of scary games and scary movies, then stick around and we're going to have a lot of fun, I'm sure. Even if the teenagers don't. Hmm, the butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Yeah, this is pretty much telling me that uh, decisions I make in this game are going to affect the outcome. And half the butterfly will rot. Or the majority of it will. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Cool, so it's like a Telltale game, but I've heard that the decisions in this really do matter, and a lot of people will live or d die depending on it. Oh my gosh, this is like, almost like a road in the in the woods. Like a, a hilly mountainside. Your story is one of many possibilities. And choose your actions carefully. So I've heard that there's many different endings to this game, so it might have a good replay value. I'm not entirely sure just yet uh, if we'll get through more than once, because I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, but definitely excited to get in there for the first time and probably make a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> like some teenagers who decide to stay in a very creepy haunted cabin in the woods. Bad idea, guys. It's very, very snowy outside. And there's the killer with a machete. Oh my gosh. So how many kids have we got in here? Are they playing a prank on somebody? She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hand. I'm making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my <laughs> Just because your class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. So this is very much like your classic horror movie. <laughs> Whatever you say. You've guys. always got those certain types of characters in it. Wow, there's like eight people here? That's a lot of kids. I wonder which one we get to control, or if we get to control several. I don't really know. Hannah! Hannah! Where are you, Hannah? <laughs> oh, they're playing hide and seek. <laughs> Typical. She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of jump scares in this game, so I apologize if I scream out. Uh, I'll try and keep Hi. it to a minimum. <laughs> it's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. What's up? So I guess we're just sort of getting an overview of all the kids here. Typical teenagers, you know, they're drinking, just having fun. A typical killer, just killing, having fun. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Oh, they spotted him. Josh. Guys, quit being passed out. I'm freaked out here. Oh, I get to move. Okay, so this is my character then. She's got a very nice woolly sweater on. I like all the frayed edges around the, the silhouette there. That's really cool in the hat. All right, so let's, I'm going to try pressing some random buttons here. I actually can't do anything. Like, I can't jump. I can't... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I brought up a profile here. Okay, so this is Beth. Character traits are that she's quite honest and charitable. Not so funny. About mediocre on Brave. Less so romantic. Somewhat curious... Oh, and also relationship status. So we can see that she's actually really good friends with Hannah. Uh, but when it comes to Ashley, she's not so keen. <laughs> so that's really cool. And I guess here we've got the list of people. So there's actually 10. Uh, since she doesn't have an opinion on herself. Uh, there's 10 kids in this place. And uh, I'm really curious how many are going to make it through the night alive. So I can't control the camera either. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and walk around. Oh, here we go. I can interact with something. It's a spooky note. Hold R2 to pick up the note. Rotate. Wow, I, I've got to do like all the things. Hannah, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. 
Oh my. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. No Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive <laughs> sister get herself into now? Ugh. Oh right, yeah, I'm Beth, not Hannah. We gotta go intervene. We can't we can't let Hannah get onto this. Uh can I like check anything out? Can I do the dishes? No, I can't do any dishes. Okay. Oh, these guys are totally passed out. They cannot handle their booze. Oh. Use the right stick to look around. Objects glint when they can be inspected. Okay. Oh! I see a glinty thing. What could it be? It's the same letter! <laughs> yep, same letter. Okay, sure. I just thought I'd double check. Man, there are a lot of beer bottles around. Hey, guys, wake up! Oh, hey, I can do something over here. Ah, I can have a drink myself. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's Jeremiah Crag. It looks like some sort of whiskey or something. Uh, I don't think I can use it. Jeez, I can't have a nice little drink myself. No? Okay, fine, I'll put it down. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Ah, typical big brother. Oh! Oh, the scene swapped. Oh, so this is Hannah, huh? Man, that that smile is so creepy. Start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Yeah, geez, don't just take your top off straight away. Uh, I apologize <laughs> in advance because I do not know what this game has in it. What? Where there's people hiding underneath. Matt. Oh, they were playing a prank on her. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Okay. Oh, you guys are mean. Uh, Still holding the camera. You know that? Hannah. Well, it's a good job we came up here. Although I guess she kind of found out by herself. Oh no, she ran outside. There's a killer out there. Quick. Uh, use the right stick to choose. Choose what? Wake Josh or find others. Oh man, I didn't I didn't actually click on anything. It just it just did it straight away. Okay, I guess we're waking Josh. We didn't even wake Josh. We didn't even achieve it. Hello? <laughs> Hannah's dead, guys. She died straight away. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Jeez. What did you do? Around, I didn't serious. even post it on Instagram. Oh yeah, great. Hannah. Just run off out after her by yourself. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh my gosh! Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Oh my gosh! What's going on? I'm scared. <laughs> Why am I running? Uh, fast. Go fast. Oh, I have to hold the stick in that direction. Okay. <laughs> Hannah, quickly! Why did she run so far? It's not that big a deal. Man, there's some really big footprints in front of me. Did you see those? Um, oh gosh. Follow the noise. Because those big footprints were not Hannah's unless she's like 12 foot tall. Hannah, where'd you go? Hello? Oh, gosh. Um, follow footprints this time. Those look like small footprints. Okay. I think they're smaller footprints? I don't know. Hannah! Jeez, sis. You're gonna get yourself killed. You're gonna get yourself killed. And get me killed, too. Oh, what can I do with my phone here? Use the touchpad as shown. So I can just slide across it with my finger? Okay. The touchpad's on the controller itself. That's where I was confused. Hannah. Okay. Did I call her? Oh, I'm using my flashlight on the phone, right. I can direct the beam with the right stick. Okay. Man, you really can't see anything out there without the light on it. Wow. Anna. I need to do a good job looking out. I don't want to pass her. I don't want to miss any footprints. Jeez, go, where'd you go? Hannah! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just a deer. Or a, a buck, whatever you want to call him. Uh, hold L1 to walk faster. Okay, let's... Let's do that. Hello? I guess we need to walk fast. Hello? Anna, where are you? Oh, you know what? Not only is she dead, but I'm likely to die here too. Whoa, spooky totem. What is this? Oh! What? Death totem? Why did it give me a vision of the future? Why am I not freaking out about that? That was horrible. I'm feeling very cold, you guys. It's actually quite cold in my house today. This feels very, uh, very much like I'm there. <laughs> Oh dear, that's not helping the fact that I usually get really into these scary games. And uh, I'm probably gonna scream in a minute here. <laughs> I can feel it! It's building up, you know, the music's building up the background. Why is there a tough- What the hell was that? Yeah, seriously, you need to be freaked out by that tuft of fire. Can we not go up there? Hannah. Hannah. Oh, good, she's alive! I totally thought she was gonna Hannah. be dead. Oh my god, you must be freezing. What are you doing? Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh, those guys were mean. Don't feel bad. Are we being hunted by the predator? What was that? Somebody has like heat vision or something. Guys, run. Run. Time to run. Oh. Come on, save her quickly. No, you dropped your phone. Now you're gonna be bored all weekend. Guys, did you get lost? Oh no, it's a dead end. Oh come on, no, 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 no. What? Oh, you're so clumsy, Hannah. Oh no, Hannah. I'm not gonna let go. Where's my quick time events? Hold on. Hold on! Oh my gosh. Is he gonna save us? Maybe he's gonna save us. Oh yeah, he's a good guy. What, I have to drop Hannah all let go? I'll let go. I'm not just gonna drop her. Maybe we'll survive. Oh. Oh, I don't think we survived. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a nice soft landing, no! It was all s Are they both dead? They're both dead? What is this now? This is another character. Before we begin... He's not at the place with us, is he? things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened. I recognize this guy. The past is beyond our control. This guy's an actor, right? Accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and is the he talking people to me? around you. So Hello. You have committed <laughs> to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to yeah. help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. I can't tell whether it's talking to me as a player or somebody who survived this night at the at the cabin. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly. Please don't be a spooky face. out of this experience. Okay. If it's a picture of me in real life, I'm gonna freak. Uh, oh, it's a scarecrow? Okay, scarecrow in a farm. What's up with that? How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. 
uh, disappointed. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uneasy, I guess, out of those two options. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? <laughs> Your face makes me a little bit uneasy. I guess the scarecrow? I mean, scarecrows are kind of scary, right? Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week. For example. Wait, you want me to stay in a barn? Uh, well, I don't want to stay in a barn in general, so I'm just going to say no. Because I don't want to be in, yeah, it'd be lonely. Come on, man. The peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. Sure. Not for now. Until the next session. Well, I've been here like two minutes. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. So, I don't think he's really talking to me as a player anymore. Is he talking to the killer, perhaps? I don't know. Are we going to see who, who he's talking to? Oh man, that's very strange. Very strange indeed. So that was basically the opening to Until Dawn, I guess. Uh, I'm curious whether both Hannah and Beth could survive, or either or. It seems like the path I ended up going down, uh, I could have dropped Hannah and then maybe survived if the guy that was there was actually there to help me. But I have a feeling he probably would have killed me anyway, wouldn't he? <laughs> That's how these things go. Until dawn. Now, we're going to join the rest of the people back at the uh, the cabin. We must do, because, I mean, there were stats on them all. Hidden pattern, yeah, okay. So, I on the loading screen, it kind of looked like her in the background, but I wasn't sure. But I guess they've actually used... Uh, known actors, or maybe some a little bit less known uh, for this game, and using their motion capture and their likeness and stuff, because I recognize the therapist for sure. I've seen him in plenty of movies. So, that's kind of interesting too. It, it really is taking that whole uh, horror movie thing, almost literally, in using real life actors too. So, that's really cool. I like that. We have a very creepy opening sequence here. Today, I'm excited to explore this cabin. I really do hope that we get to go back to it. Oh. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington. Okay, so it's a year later. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one. So it's been a whole year since that event, and I'm guessing all the teenagers are back. At that hut. <laughs> the cabin in the woods. We're still presumed missing, though, which is weird. I guess they never found the bodies. Oh, there she is. I don't really know many things that she's in, but uh, obviously I was a big fan of, of uh, Heroes. And she was in that. Friends and fans. All right, Radio from the again. Pines. All right. Wait, is this well, the video hello, from from the fans. night? It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, no, that's off, a different guy, I isn't say, it? I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me Yay! Uh, we're, let's take a moment we're not. To Canceling it after what happened last time in the room for a second. I know You're all probably worried about me and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I Just want you all to know um, It means It means so much to me that we're doing this and that He's the killer. I know it was saying it now so much to Hannah and he ben might not just be the killer. We're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. 
I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay. Whoa. So, let's party like Right, of course, I forgot. Stars, okay? Make this one trip I forgot that we'll that was forget, her brother, right? right? She had an elder brother yes. there that was sick. Well, not sick, but hungover, drunk. Huh. Okay, so it's their cabin. That is very interesting. Oh, gas mask. And the flames, right? The flames that we saw in the woods, too. I wonder how that's going to come into play. Very creepy. Oh, and the future totem. Man. There's so much I want to explore in this cabin and see what it's all about. Um, I'm not really sure how the game's gonna play out, if it's going to be uh, just quick time events and stuff, like just make a decision here and there, or if I'm going to actually get to explore much. Uh, as I said, I've not played it before, but I've heard lots of really good things about it, and of course, with it being the month of Halloween, it seemed like a good choice of game to play and share with you guys, especially since I'm now starting to recall things on the PS4. So here we go, we've pulled up at the lodge, and I, I kind of missed the name of the lodge, actually. Chapter 1, Memento Mori. 10 hours until dawn. Okay, 10 hours to go, guys. We're not doing too bad. Oh my gosh, straight away with the machete guy. He did not waste any time. <laughs> We're already being hunted. Sam, it's Hannah's best friend. She's considerate, adventurous, and diligent. So maybe we're gonna get a better Hello? introduction to all the characters this time. Someone there? Yeah, it's the killer. He's watching you. Or maybe it's just somebody going to pull a prank. Path to the cable car station. It is currently 9.02 p.m. Perfect time for a jump scare. In three, two... One. Ah! Tutorial jump scare! Uh, you can right, right stick to move the camera. Yeah, okay. I get it, I get it. It is once again very cold looking anyway. It's not snowing this time though. That's just a shame. I do love the snow. Aha! Alright, I need to look for glinting objects. Oh, what's this? Oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over! That is a very dangerous gate to try climbing over. Are you serious? I'm gonna climb over here. Yeah, the bricks. Looks like I can climb up there. Somewhat more so Yeah, let's do it safely, please. Let's not do it quick. I'm gonna fall and sprain my ankle straight away. Oh, there we go with the quick time events as well. Um, climb. I'm not just gonna jump. Come on. I'm really worried I'm gonna mess up one of these prompts and like fall and break my leg straight away. I'm gonna have the uh, the most recognizable character in this game just die right off the bat. Kind of like the the Scream movie, right? They had uh, oh, what's her face? I forget her name now, but she died straight away, and she had top billing, so that was kind of interesting. All right. Took everybody by surprise, which is what I, I think they were going for. But I'd, I'd be surprised if they did that now, especially since her face is on like the background of the loading screen too. Oh, it's a little squirrel! You should be hibernating. Don't move. What do you mean? I think I think there were some motion controls in uh, in effect there, and I moved the controller because I didn't really understand what it meant by. Oh, here we go. Right, so I'm holding the controller very... Oh, come on! Man, she is... She is not giving up with wanting to give this thing some nuts. Okay. I'm gonna hold it as still as possible. Hold wireless controller as steady as you can. There we go. Oh, man, you know what? I just thought of the implications of that. If I have to hold it as steady as I can, is there going to be times where I'm like hiding from the killer and I have to keep the controller really steady or he's going to find me? That's going to be terrifying! I don't know if I can deal with that! 
<laughs> I'm already freaked out at the prospect. It might not even happen. Okay. <laughs> Next time on Until Dawn. Ooh, we get to look around. Cool. It's very. S uh oh. Whoa, hello. Smooth oh dang! This is why I didn't want her to go by yeah, herself. Friends are own kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Well, they're not kissing. They're just talking, right? She's she pulls his arm away. You know what? It's cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs>